Claremont police say there was no real threat and no gun found, but some people who were here at the festival last night thought there was, causing a pretty scary situation for those who saw a large group of people running but had no idea what was happening. They were screaming and crying, and it was, it was, they were in a panic. Hope Medina worried when she saw about 100 kids running toward her tent Saturday night at the Pig on the Pond Festival in Claremont. We see a bunch of kids running this way. It was almost like a stampede, and we didn't know what was happening. We didn't know if a bomb went off. We didn't know if there was a gunshot. We didn't hear anything. But they were screaming and almost like in a panic. Turns out it was just a scare. You can see in this video a big fight broke out last night. Then later, a witness tells me that someone heard he got a gun in a crowd, and that's when everyone started running. Claremont police say no gun was found and there were no reports of anyone actually seeing a gun, but it did cause panic at the family friendly event. It's still scary when you see, you know, a lot of kids running and you don't know what's going on, you know, but we saw also police officers going towards it to address it. So I think if we didn't see the police officers running towards the action, Definitely, it would have been a lot scarier. Some people are on a high alert after seeing shootings in crowds at festivals, parades, and other events across the country recently. This incident, similar to the scare at the Lake Eola fireworks show several months ago, people at the event started running when some sort of loud noise sparked panic. Investigators say it was likely fireworks from nearby that spooked the crowd. Those um, disturbances where you start running through can cause injuries to other people. Thankfully, we did not have that last night. And we're very thankful for that. You can see volunteers are clearing out. Tonight was the last day of the festival, and things ran smoothly. Reporting in Claremont, Stephanie Belfmonte, Fox 35 News.